Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Nick Acosta. Let's grow in Christ, y'all. I want to invite you guys to grow in Christ with me. I want to talk about Colossians chapter 1. I was looking at it, and I started to see things that I hadn't really noticed before. It kind of blew me away, and I saw why wisdom and understanding are so important. Why we need wisdom. Why we need understanding. What's the point of having those things? Asking God for them. Seeking them. Pursuing them. Wanting to grow in them. What is the point of having wisdom, spiritual wisdom, spiritual understanding. Why? What's the point? You know, is it to sound like a theologian, to impress people, to get into apologetics and seem all smart and all this stuff? No, because there's really no point to none of those things once I show you what I'm about to show you, okay? I'm going to show you why it's so important that we know the will of God and that we grow in spiritual understanding and wisdom because God wants us to do something. He wants us to live a certain way. And it's way more important than seeming as if we know everything and sounding smart and being into apologetics and debating and, 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 and being theologians and all this stuff. is the most important thing in God's eyes. So it should be in ours. So I want to show you this, okay? Check it out, guys. I'm going to go ahead and show you Colossians chapter 1 in the Word. So starting in verse 9, it says, For this reason, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you. And to ask that, here it goes, you may be filled with the knowledge of his will. So if we look at that, it's talking about being filled with the knowledge of the will of God. With the knowledge of the will of God. It's very important. Why? To preach? Why? To sound smart? Why? In all wisdom, here it is, in spiritual understanding, here are the reasons why we need wisdom and spiritual understanding. Verse chapter, verse 10, verse, verse number 10, that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. So, it's so clear. God wants us to be fruitful. God wants us to know him more. And God wants us to have good works and live lives that are pleasing to him. Do you guys see that? You guys, do you guys see what I'm talking about here? Why it's so important that we have spiritual understanding and wisdom why does God want us to ask him for wisdom? Because God has called us, commanded us, and empowered us by his spirit to live a certain way that's going to give him glory. So it says that we need to be filled with the knowledge of the will of God, and we need to have understanding and wisdom for the purpose of of pleasing God, bearing good fruit, doing good works, living a life that's actually worthy of the Lord. Like we got to remember, y'all, Jesus Christ died for us. He went to the cross, suffered a whole lot, gave his body. His blood was dripping everywhere. He took all that persecution, so much suffering for us, for us to save us, to redeem us to save us from our own sins and wickedness, from the wrath of God that was going to send us into the lake of fire for eternity, right? Are we living worthy of this salvation? Are we living, do we live a life that really says, I am so thankful for the blood of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I belong to Jesus. I'm no longer a slave to sin. I no longer belong to the devil. I'm no longer of this world. Is that the type of life we're living? If it's not, guys, then we need to grow up. We need to mature. We need to be renewed in our minds so that we can be transformed in our lifestyle because God wants us to live lives to have a walk that is pleasing to him, a fruitful walk of good works, letting our light shine, bearing the fruit of the Holy Spirit, and really giving glory to God. That's why you want wisdom. That's why you want understanding because you want to live for God, please God. And the Bible says that we've been born again to do what? Bear fruit 
to God. It's not that we're living for ourselves. It's not that we're living uh, until we go to his kingdom. We're going to live to satisfy our flesh and we're going to live to get rich and we're going to live to get fat and to enjoy and for pleasure, for entertainment, for women, for God. We're not living for none of that. Our calling is to live for God. And if our mind is not in shape and conditioned, trained in righteousness to do so, we're not going to live like that because the mind is the steering wheel that guides your life, your body to doing what the mind is conditioned to lead you to do. That's why it says be renewed in your mind, be renewed in the spirit of your mind, right? That's why it says the new man is renewed in knowledge, the knowledge of God. We have to get to know his will and we have to use that knowledge, that wisdom, that understanding to live for him, to know him more, right? To, to, to walk in the spirit, to glorify him, to let our light shine in this world because that's what our Lord and Savior Jesus has commanded us to do, to walk as he walked. And we can only do that, of course, by his spirit in us, but also we need our minds to agree with the spirit. We need our minds to be spiritual. That's why it says be spiritually minded. How? We have to learn his will. What is the will of God? How does he want us to live? How does he want us to respond to temptation, to the enemy, to evil people, to enemies, to friends, to neighbors, to brothers and sisters in Christ, to the household of faith? How does God want us to live? We can only find out in his word. Getting his word in us, renewing our minds with it, meditating on his word and asking him, the Holy Spirit, to teach us and to lead us in all truth and to help us live a life that's pleasing to him and worthy of him, our Lord. Amen. If this video helped you, if you're going to read Colossians chapter 1 verses uh, 9 through 14 again because of what I just shared, I want you to leave a comment on this video and let me know. OK, I want you to give this video a thumbs up, share this video. I know you have brothers and sisters in Christ all throughout your Facebook feed that need to hear this. They need to know that being lazy, that not reading the word of God, not showing up to church, not going to Bible study, not reading Christian books that will help them understand the will of God more. That is not what God wants. He wants them to grow in Christ, he wants them to mature in the knowledge of his will for the very reason that he wants them to live like true Christians, bearing good fruit. So share this video, subscribe to this channel, and I will see you guys next time. Love y'all. Blessings. Take care.